Hi guys, it's Sarah Jane from Bella Coco and today what I'm going to be doing with you is showing you how to connect your granny squares. You may have watched my last video on how to make a granny square and if you have you might have ended up with a pile of squares um, which looks similar to this. So now you're going to want to know how to put these together. I have had a few of you asking for this so I thought I'd do that for you today. There are two ways that you can actually put these together. One is a join as you go method, which is the method that I prefer. Um, and there is another way that you can just um, single crochet them all together. So I shall show you both of those today. So remember that I will be talking in UK terminology. I will leave a link in the description box below again, so that if you are watching in the US, you have the conversion chart there for you. The first method I'm going to show you is how to join with single crochet. I am again using my 4mm hook because that is the hook it recommends for this style craft yarn. I've already done my colour block, so I've done a blue and a green, and what I've done is I've added my border of cream. I like to add a border of cream, but you don't have to necessarily do that. You could just put the two um, colours together, but this is just the look I like to go for. So what we're going to do is put these right side facing, so you've got the side that you want facing each other and you're just going to put it together like this and you want to just make sure that it's lined up in the corners. I'm going to take my cream yarn and just to secure it into place I'm going to put my hook through the corner like this and pull that through. And I just like to tie it off, just because I think it, it's a bit more secure that way. I will also do a slip stitch um, there as well. So um, hook through, pull the yarn through, and then pull it through the hoop on the hook. So that is your first stitch. What you want to do now is insert the hook into the first chain space here and then right the way through to the first chain space in the back. Okay, so we'll go through here, and I'll just pull it apart so that you can see, and through here, yarn over the hook, pull it back through, so you've got two loops on your hook, and then you're going to pull through both of those. And you're going to do the, exactly the same thing in the next space, so through here, through there, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both. Then you've got the larger space and you just do exactly the same thing. And that is pretty much it. So I'll just show you all the way along. You just have to make sure that you're checking to make sure it's going through the right space um, on the back section. And you want to stop when you get to this corner. And then when you open it up, you have your two pieces joined together. If you notice with this, it is quite a sturdy connection between the two. But as you look on the back, you will see it has a slight ridge to it. If you are going to do the um, single crochet method, what I would do is do your row. So do it in rows, so connect each row and then do the length of it. So do all your rows, you might have five long rows of five, and then connect each row to each. So you'll do shorter connections and then um, one long connection. 
The next method is the join as you go method. So you would start off with your block without any edging and you just kind of do it as you go along. So all of my crochet mood blanket that I've done so far is join as you go method. I will show you on my mood blanket because I'll show you how you would get from each corner and finish it all off. Um, I think it would be easier to see that way. But first of all, we're going to start off by creating part of the border on here. So I'm going to take my cream yarn. And I'm going to stop where I get to the corner section here. Normally in a corner section we chain three to make the corner but what we're going to do this time is just chain one and this is where we're going to, where we're going to start to connect it to this blanket here. If we look at this blanket we have the corner section just there. So this is that corner section and what we are going to do is we're going to insert the hook into that corner section, pull the yarn through like this and then pull it through this one and that is how we connect it. So we do one more chain because that is the corner and then we just do as normal three treble crochet. Now what we would normally do is chain one to get to the next section but instead of chaining one you're going to insert your hook into here, you're going to pull the yarn through and you're just going to slip stitch it onto this one. And then again, treble crochet three. And you just do that again. So the next one, pull it through, pull it through. Make sure you keep it nice and tight. one, pull it through, pull it through, three treble crochet and by this point we are at the corner. So we're going to chain one and you may need to turn your work at this point. So you're just going to turn it round and it will look like you're too short but you're not. What you now have, because this is three or this is the fourth one coming together with three, you'll see you've got a corner here, a corner here and a corner here. I usually go on the opposite one so I'll go through this one here, grab my yarn, pull it through and then three treble crochet into that corner. And I will continue with this all the way around.
and I get to the corner again, I chain one, into the corner, pull it back through, chain one, I'm going to turn the work again, and you'll notice now that there's nothing to join onto, so you just carry on with your treble crochet, three treble crochet, all the way round to the beginning. And as you can see with this one, if I pull it, it's not as stable as the other one because you do get holes in between each one. But I just find it much simpler to do, much quicker, um, and it's still as effective. I still think it looks really, really pretty. And just as a comparison, this is the first method. And this is the join as you go method. <laughs> okay, so there you go, that is how you join your granny squares together. Once you have joined them together, you can just keep going and going and add into your blanket um, and making it as big as you want. This is my crochet blanket 2014 crochet mood blanket. So this is just gonna get absolutely huge throughout the year as I finish it. After you finish your projects, I would absolutely love to see what you've done and what you've created. Please tag me on at bellacoco underscore on Instagram and on Twitter so that I can see your pictures. I love to see the things that you've been producing. If you leave a comment below, to let me know how you're getting on. Thumbs up this video if you like it and make sure you subscribe for any future videos. Thanks for watching, bye!